Gellin with the University of Missouri Extension Office and flowers here, um, but it's actually was on, on the flowers. It's monarch time. It's monarch time. Um, last week we talked about hummingbirds and how they migrate to right. Mexico. Well, monarchs do the same thing. Cool. So you may have noticed a lot of monarch activity if you've spent time outdoors and they're getting ready for their fall trip as well. So does that mean that uh, they're, they're really about to, uh, to get going or how long have the monarchs actually been around this well they, year. they've been here all summer okay but this particular generation is the generation that will migrate to mexico okay yeah really cool okay so let's talk about uh, a few of the, what we have here because okay. we have different things not only um with the milkweed we have multiple plants but we have different little caterpillars yes we have some caterpillars hopefully we can get a shot of that yeah. um that's what the monarch caterpillar looks like and the only plant that they eat is milkweed and i've got some different varieties here of milkweed you can almost see it if you look in the camera you can yeah, see this right here is. there you go it's milky that's why it's called milkweed and yeah. it's sticky too so <laughs> don't okay. don't eat that oh, oh, okay all right no uh and you want to talk about this because it was fascinating. They only will migrate on, on the milkweed, well, correct? Well, yeah, the caterpillars will only eat milkweed. So if you want to do something to help the monarchs plant this around your house, it's a beautiful flower, um, native to the area, so they're very easy to grow. And as you can see, just a, just a great plant to have around. Right, and there's also multiple different kinds of milkweed. Talk about these. Um, well, the orange one is butterfly weed, and you might even see that growing on the side of the road. It's very common. Uh, the one with the pinkish purple flower, is swamp milkweed. The one with the wide leaves is common milk milkweed, and then the one that's kind of a vine is called honey vine milkweed. Okay. So lots of different types. Really cool. And that, you're promoting this because they're in decline. Yeah, the monarch population is in decline for a, a variety of reasons, so people can definitely plant milkweed to help them out. Okay, well that's awesome. Um, if people want more information about this, where can they call? Uh, extension on Eight one eight nine oh nine. All right, Kelly, thank you so thank much. You. Over here.